This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Welcome to another episode of Photoshop Roulette, the series where I use a generator to pick five random images from the web. After we have all five images, we will then create a photo manipulation using those images in Photoshop. So just as before, each time we spin the wheel, a photo will appear at the bottom. I have no idea what photos we'll get. It's choosing from thousands. Uh, fingers crossed we don't get any more cats. As always, I'll provide a link to the stock photos in the description in case any of you are crazy enough to try this yourself. Okay, let's spin the wheel and see what we get. Okay, not exactly a rip-roaring start, but there's lots of elements we can work with here. We've got some grass, sky, mountains. I think we'll consider that an okay start. Image two, here we go. Right, it's a very specific image, but immediately I'm seeing all the water spraying thinking at the very least, we can make some clouds, mist or smoke. Onward. gonna lie, starting to get a bit worried. These are perfectly fine images, there's just not a lot of focus or standout features to get creative with. But two images to go, feeling good about the next one. <laughs> okay. I hated eating broccoli as a kid, and now I hate it even more. Okay, last one. Now this is better. I was about to scrap this video, but that I can work with. I was getting worried that we didn't really have a focus and we'd have to make some kind of broccoli forest, but this gives us a tiny bit of hope. This is gonna be a tough one. Uh, I'm gonna have a little think about what to do. I wonder what you guys are thinking seeing these images for the first time. Any ideas? Comment below. So after a little bit of thought, I think I've got an idea in mind. I think we've got the assets to create one of those awesome anime styled environment images with tall skies, vivid colours and epic clouds. They have that lo-fi vibe and maybe we can throw a few surprises in there too. This was always going to be a tricky one with such limited assets but that's what makes it such an interesting exercise, it forces you to think outside the box and get as creative as possible. I've decided to use the green field as our main base image, fortunately the perspective matches some of the other images and it has some nice elements overall, those soft clouds in particular. The first step is to find the general placement for our horizon, we're going for that tall sky so we'll keep it quite low down the canvas and just extend the image where needed. I don't really know what colour scheme to go with at this early stage so I'm just dabbling with a few adjustment layers trying to feel out a direction. These mountains won't cause any issues at least, they'll drop into the scene nicely front and centre, we just need to make some cuts along the side and adjust the colours to better match the scene. I'll use a colour fill layer matching the sky colour behind the mountains to then paint in some atmospheric perspective. Cool, not too tricky so far. And that's our first two images used already, three to go, trying not to think about that broccoli at this stage. But before we continue, I need to tell you about Envato Elements free trials. If you're looking for premium assets to use in your creative sessions, Envato Elements is the place for you. You will have access to millions of assets from stock photos, videos, graphics, music and a whole lot more. Envato Elements now offers a 7 day free trial. What does this mean? Well, now you'll have 168 hours to experience the full range of what Envato Elements has to offer. Envato Elements offers a range of useful assets to level up your creations. Personally, I'm always dipping into the 3D library where you can rotate your object and select the precise angle needed for your composition. If Envato Elements is for you, they offer 50% off an annual subscription. So rather than paying $33 per month on a monthly plan, you'll be paying $16.50 per month on an annual plan. And with the free 7 day trial offer, now is the perfect time to try Envato Elements, so get involved and click the link in the description. Making a few lighting adjustments and then isolating select colours from the grass to boost the lightness and create some better highlights. Dropping in the character now, man this image really saved us. It's just a shame we're so limited with the other images that popped out of the generator, but we'll do what we can. The umbrella looks a little bit small to me, so let's cut that out and scale it up slightly. And then we're going to clip some adjustment layers to them to plant them in the scene a little better, as well as altering the colours of certain items to break up a clothing a little so that it doesn't blend into one shape. Not 
fully convinced what colour to make the umbrella at this point, but uh, blue will do for now. And we'll create an exposure adjustment layer just to create some highlights and give it a little bit more form. I wish we had more clouds to work with, but we don't, so I'm going to isolate the existing ones and reuse them as best as possible. The random generator pumps out pretty low resolution images, so making them bigger creates some pretty pixelated results. To get around this, I can use the smudge tool with a chalky brush to soften and move the colour around. And considering we're being inspired by anime art, the resulting painterly effect works pretty nicely, I think. We need a few more clouds along the top, so let's reuse them again and use the same smudge technique where needed. Okay, I think it's time. So the plan here, if we cut out the right shape, alter the colours and brightness in the right areas, we might be able to make some meteors. I'm definitely still seeing broccoli, but it's looking a little bit more like a rock. Using the wave image, we can isolate some of the highlights from the water spray. And if we warp and stretch these, we can create some decent looking trails for our falling broccoli. I mean, rock. That's also all five images used. Nice. It's slowly getting there, and by repeating these steps, we end up with this. Pretty janky, but I'm starting to see some potential. By duplicating our cloud layers and then upping the brightness of the one underneath, we can create some pretty nice cloud highlights. Ultimately, I think the character will look better as more of a silhouette and the undercoat makes the shape a bit confusing, so I'm going to clean that up too. Yeah, I think orange is going to work better in the end, and we'll add a few more highlights. Now, I really want some stars. I could paint them in, but that would be cheating, so I'm looking real hard for any glimpse of potential editing opportunities in our five images. And I think I see it. I'm going to cut out some tarmac, alter the levels, make it black and white, then duplicate it and use the clone stamp tool to create a more randomized finish. Set the layer blending mode to color dodge and voila, we've got some half decent stars. Not done with the broccoli just yet. With the right layer mode and color, we can add a bit more texture to our grass, creating some type of flower heads. I'll then use the distort twirl filter on some of the cloud layers to create a bit more variation in the meteor trails.
Almost time for the final image reveal. Let's see what we end up with. And here it is. I felt like it was lacking some depth so I've duplicated some of the meteors and added them off in the distance to help with that along with a few other tweaks and details. Like I've said this was definitely a tough one, I had certain ideas at different points but just didn't have the assets to make some of them happen but as always I had a lot of fun trying to figure this one out. I'd massively appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe for more Photoshop content. Why not check out how I made a spaceship from a laptop? I'll see you in the next video.